Hello, creating from the heart, the artistry of living. I'm Susie Vance, and I'm here with Ryan Casey. Hey, thanks for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this is just pure fun. Yes, great. <laughs> okay, Ryan, tell us what you do. Well, for um, a living. For yeah. I mean. <laughs> And probably for fun, too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> At least you make me laugh this is, a lot. It's involved sometimes. Uh, so I do something called muscle activation techniques. Mm -hmm. And I look at the body a little bit differently than traditional means. I don't know if traditional means, but yeah. Okay. Different than a doctor, necessarily. Different than a physical therapist, even. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of modalities look at um, bodies in motion. Right. And I pause the motion. I try to look at it in parts. Uh -huh. And that might be different than how someone else looks at it. Uh -huh. Why would you want to know about the parts of a body's motion? It's easier for me to find a part that could work better than to see if a whole motion would have to change. So it's easier for me to manage and okay. easier for other people um, to manage a part. And then they can integrate it back into motion at some point. All right. Which sounds like a lot. Now we got we, we to gotta help. <laughs> now, the poor, now, now we're in the weeds. The, now we're really in the weeds. And we got to translate it a little so that somebody... Yeah, let me ask you this. Yeah. How did you get into this? What triggered your finding this... I'm going to call it a secret. Yeah. Yeah. So I was injured. I, was, uh, I grew up wrestling. I wrestled in college. And my body just did not come out of that the way it went into it. And so I had changed quite a bit and I had quite a few injuries I was working through. Um, and it changed because of the injuries. Yeah, yeah. So... Um, and as a result, your body operated differently. Yeah, it didn't feel so hot. <laughs> when you walked and <laughs> yeah. whatever. Yeah, so I really, I couldn't, I couldn't run more than, you know, a half mile without some back pain. I couldn't, um, it was just very limiting. And I would feel good for a couple of days. I would, you know, I could mow the lawn, but then I might have to, you know, take it easy for a few days. So it was, it was frustrating. And I was in my twenties. These are like pains, or are these like muscles? I was being in pain, stiff? and I didn't know what it was. Ooh. But what I've realized is that, and what I help people with is that muscles pull bones. Yes, and they so do. So if they're pulling unevenly, they could. You know, those, put those two bones together and it could be pretty painful. So I was on a search and it took me about 10 years. And I was like, man, if these guys are doing what I think they're doing, it's going to be pretty awesome. And so I dove in and helped some people out. And I thought, wow, I got to figure out what all this is about. And, you know, gosh. Is anybody else doing muscle excavation? Yeah, there's about a couple hundred of us around the world doing it. Yeah, mostly. Um, and this is really taking how the muscles work and breaking it up into segments so that you can see what's influencing what? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> it's like taking a lawsuit apart. Yes, yes okay. exactly. Exactly. So, you know, just because you can you know walk down the stairs are you doing it most efficiently and so there's ways to find out like hey can your body be more efficient and when you're efficient and you're even and you're symmetrical and stable you feel pretty good yes and you do. when you're not you feel kind Oops. of crummy yeah <laughs> it is either a little or sometimes it can be a whole lot yeah 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 so so you stumbled on this where did you stumble on this just trial and error or oh, did yeah. you run into other people you who know, were doing this? It's one of those things, and this is a kind of a now become a rule of thumb or life for me. Uh huh. Is if I hear something twice, then I <laughs> yes. dig in. I know that rule. And so I had heard about this, um, gosh, ten years before. Nah, maybe five years before. Before what? Before I'd actually done it. Okay. And so I start, I was- Once a, you heard about it. I heard it once. I was a coach and I was training athletes. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I started to train um, people in just the general population trying to get healthier. And I realized people weren't moving the way my book had educated me. You know, like pretty soon I was like, oh, I exhausted this. And so um, someone had told me about muscle activation techniques and 
you know, but I, I just, you know, it was like good information. I kept it in the back of my head and I went through a series of things, experiences, trying to help people in certain ways. And I'm like, I need more definitive information. And so that little thing in the back of my head finally came forward and um, I came Is across their muscle, muscle activation. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and so, um, so I just dove in, I took a dive and came out. I didn't, wasn't sure what it was in the beginning and man, I'm still learning. Um, well, just for full disclosure, as you know my story, you know my oh, yeah. story. I walked into Ryan's office on crutches and said, please help me because where I've been, nobody else is able to help me. And my massage therapist said I had to come to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm lucky in the way that other people have, and including you, thank you, uh, have been carrying the water for me and just referred people. So I'm really grateful to all well, of Well, one people. of the best people I referred to you was your grade school teacher. Yes, yeah. She was in an automobile accident, really injured, and was in a wheelchair and could hardly move around. And I said to her, <clears throat> have you tried Ryan? She said, who? <laughs> <laughs> and she went to Ryan and then she remembered she'd had him in grade school. Yeah. And no, she a... is up and walking around today. Yeah, it was a real thrill to be able to help her. Yeah, yeah. And those... You know, I never thought I'd be doing something like that from crutches to walking or wheelchair to walking. I, I I never thought that, but man, it's really rewarding. It is. And it's fun to be on the other end of it. Yeah. I remember when I was lying on your table when I first got to see you and you said, okay, let me hold your feet. You held my feet. You moved them a little this way and that way. And you said, mm-hmm. And then you did a few things. And the next thing I knew it was like it was disappearing and I burst into laughter. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah. it was hilarious. Yeah, it's... How can you do that? <laughs> but it works. And sometimes it, it, I do get what I'd call lucky, informed luck maybe. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times it's a lot of hard work. So yeah. just... It's it, not Shazam yeah, every time. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's worth checking out. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah, for sure. And it's clear you love your work. I do. It's really, it's been a fantastic journey. And I'm so grateful. Here you are. Yeah. Northwest Indiana. Here we are. Who would have thought? <laughs> so you stumbled on this because you yourself were injured. Mm -hmm. And you were, that drove your curiosity, I think. Oh, yeah. And it still does. Yeah. You know, even... If I can do something more efficiently, or if there's a different way to look at, I, I get, I guess I got here because I was curious, and mm -hmm. I don't, and I continue to be. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, you, you kind of go down this road, and you're kind of committed to to learning, you uh -huh. know. So it, yeah. it just can't stop. Um, but yeah, so I think that's a life trait. Probably true. <laughs> <laughs> a lucky one. Right. <laughs> um. So you was do I this. answering the question? So you do this. You you got curious. Yep. And you followed the path, and it turned into a job. Yeah, career. It turned into work. Yeah. It turned into a gift for other people. Well, it was one of those things where I'm on this journey, and, and things are for yourself, for myself, and things are helpful but temporary. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of the problem I was having. And so I, it, out of frustration, a promise I made to myself was if I ever figure this out, I'm going to have to, you know, teach it Share to other it. people. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, I really was having trouble um, having a career because I was in so much pain. Right. You know, you'd and sit the, at a desk. where was the pain? What was going on? Oh, it was all through here? my back, my neck. Mm -hmm. um, my traps were a big thing. So, you know, you think like this was in the 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. So the internet was booming. Everything's a dot com. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm going to sit down and click clack around for my career. And I can only sit for about 45 minutes. And I'm like, well, there's no way I'm, be, you know, you know, you don't you don't really think of all the possibilities of life. But, you know, you come from school, you're sitting, you're writing papers, you think office, you know, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm like, this isn't possible. 
And so it was just a promise I made to my, well, I shouldn't say a promise, but just something I said that was just like, man, if, if I can get through this, I can help other people in this spot. Right. And that's what I've been doing. It just kind of, it's just funny how it works out. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you say to somebody who is maybe in high school and they think they have to figure it out and they think they have to know now what they're going to do forever. Yeah, and the same one. is true for somebody who's in their 40s and they, you know, they really just reached a dead end. They don't like what they're doing. Mm -hmm. What do you say to people like that? Well, you know, there's a lot of, I can see it's it's a lot of pressure. And I, I felt it myself at that at that point because your peers are having early successes or some people are really know what they want to they're do. They're really from, on it. Yeah, yeah, they're really <laughs> on it. And um, and so, you know, when I look back now in my 40s, I, I think of it, and someone had, had told me this, it's really kind of a cool way to think about it. But as far as a career timeline mm -hmm. goes, it's, it's more or less like 45 to 65, traditional work life. Not that it can't exceed or start before that. But if you think about it in, that, in those terms, you're really just like getting going in your 20s. And it's just the pressure to have it figured out is, I don't know, it's it's not un fair. unnecessary. And it's not fair. Yeah. And so I, I think of, if I was to advise someone, it would be to just explore those early 20s and 30s and start to get a sense of what you want. So you what, can, are they, what are you curious about? Yeah, right? and scratch as many itches as you can <laughs> because you're still going to have the same curiosities in your 40s. And if you never do it, um, then you'll always be wondering. Uh -huh. And so if you can do it early, go to that far out place, take that kind of crazy leap. And then, you know, you're always sort of met with uh, an easy, I shouldn't say an easy, but we always kind of keep moving forward it's yeah. nothing really and your calling can change yeah for sure really fun yeah <laughs> it's an adventure yes for sure oh this life <laughs> <laughs> well thank you very much where could we find you if we were looking for you you can find me on the internet like everybody else <laughs> yes and <laughs> my website is bustleactivations.com Okay. <laughs> All right. He's well worth finding. Trust me. Oh, well, thanks, guys. All Thank right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Ryan Casey and Susie Vance for Creating from the Heart. See you next time.